All right, my friends, you know I love putting puzzles together, and I'm wrapping the entire puzzle up right now. I'm bringing you bits and pieces of everything I've talked about for the last uh, year. I'm putting it all in one neat, tidy place. If you can listen to what I'm about to share with you right now and not understand, look at the thumbnail here. I'm not even putting my, my, my face on this. I'm, put, I'm showing you God's, the hand of God. It's not God's hand, obviously, because of, but this is simulating God's hand coming through the clouds and trying to wake up the earth. If you can't tell that God is trying to intervene and show us what's going on after watching this video, then uh, I just don't know what to tell you. Second Peter 3, 8, the King James Version Bible. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. All right, you got that? Remember that. It took God seven days, six days plus one day to rest to create the heavens, universe, and the earth. The six days to create, six equals 6,000 years. Remember, a day is like 1,000 years. It's been, it's been 6,000 years now from creation to right now where we're living in 2020. It's been 6,000 years time has passed. Thus, we only have the one day left, the 1,000 years, and that's a 1,000-year reign of Christ. Praise the Lord. Where there is complete peace and the world rests like God rests on that, on that last day. Are you getting this? And believe me, it, 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 it just is powerful from for all the way through. Keep listening. After this is finished, we have the great white throne judgment and then eternity. Praise the Lord. A generation of 70 to 80 years, according to Psalm 90, and with the ancient calendars adjusted for current time, we're now in 2020 at 70 years right now. I believe the extra 10 years, if it's 80, if they have the strength to endure, refers to the Jews being persecuted and slaughtered by Hitler from 1938 to 1948 when they became a nation. Thus, 1938 to 2020 with the calendar adjusted is 80 years, and from 1948 to 2020 with the calendar adjusted is 70 years. Okay, you getting this? Donald Trump. The word Trump appears only two times in God's word, and both times describe the rapture in 1 Corinthians 15, 52, and 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. Seven and multiples of the number seven are considered God's perfect number, the number of perfection in all things. President Trump's birth was 700 days prior to Israel becoming a nation in 1948. There's that year again. His margin of victory in the 2016 U.S. presidential election was 77 votes. President Trump was 70 years, seven months, and seven days old on the presidential inauguration day. Prime Minister Netanyahu had been Israel's prime minister for seven years, seven months, and seven days on the very same day that President Donald Trump was elected President of the United States. This is some amazing stuff. President Trump officially recognized Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights in Israel on her 70th year. President Trump moved the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem on Israel's 70th birthday. And again, that's without the calendar being adjusted, but it's still the 70. President Trump's Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, was the 70th person to have that position, which he, which he began in Israel's 70th year of, of existence. And finally, on Easter weekend 2020, when we celebrate Christ's resurrection and his next appearance will be at the imminent rapture, the global population reached 7,777,777 7, million and 777. That's 10 sevens if you weren't counting. And in prophecy, the number 10 is a number of completeness. <laughs> this is some amazing stuff. We need to understand God is trying to shake this world up. He's trying to show us that he's about to send his son, Jesus Christ, to snatch us away imminently. And like I've said, Matthew 24, we're at the end of verse 13 right now. Verse 14 begins the tribulation. The rapture is upon us, my friends. I don't want to see anyone left behind for seven pure years of hell where God's going to tear this world apart. Satan and the, and the false prophet and the Antichrist will tear the world apart. And if God didn't intervene, no flesh remain alive as it is. Billions and billions will die grotesque, awful, horrific deaths. Why go through all of that? Jesus Christ is our, is our only hope. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much. And again, look up true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share the word. Share this video. Have your friends share. Have them share. It's going to be censored relentlessly because the devil is not want the word getting out. Let's get this word out to every person on planet Earth. I love you. May God bless you. We fly soon. Take care. Share.